you know, I'm not really going to say much that not everybody has said. Uh, zero, zero, it's not a loss, but it's not a win. One point is still better than none. Still fifth place in the Premier League, yes. So I'm just going to get, I'm just going to talk about the good. Damn hey, clean sheet, defense, clean sheet, good job. Good job. Um... Uh, we didn't play we didn't play bad. That's the problem. But see, this is where I just started my complaining route. Two Uh before I even get there, Ronaldo probably Ronaldo it, I can see why Ronaldo did that, but if you see the replay, the ref's hand's still up and that whole thing happens. But hey, if the player touched with his foot, yeah. I would understand that, so that that's not a yellow card whatever but two chances two chances at the end of the game to win it it was a good ball that sent Rashford in on that pretty much sent Rashford behind takes around the keeper squares up for Fred and you think that a defender got involved with that and lo and behold Fred's finishing is just atrocious. What are you like, what? Eight yards out from the box? You can't slot into an empty net that the keeper's all way out of his net for? Come on now. Really, when when we... Listen, when War got... Listen, when War got out, look, City was interested in Fred. We should've just let City take him. I don't know why people in the recruitment office were pretty much finessed into buying Fred. Fred is not worth 52 million pounds. He is a fraud. Anyone who knows me really well knows I've not really been on the Fred bandwagon. Maybe a few games here and there that he actually did perform, sure. But I've, n mm -mm, I've never been on that bandwagon. It's eight, at least what, eight yards out from the box, you cannot slot it into an empty net. Nah, nah, mm -mm. And at the end of the game, it seems like Casemiro and Rashford are playing cross tag with each other. You don't get the reference? Well, I'll break it down for you like this. Remember that? Remember the Everton game when Rashford squared up a nice cross on Casemiro for it, only for a Casemiro to miss wide? Well, we have that here. We have that here. End of the game. That was a beautiful cross too from Casemiro. Yeah. Reminded actually the way we hit it reminded me of that uh, Luka Modric assist to Rodrigo in that Champions League. Was it, that was against City, right? That, that, that was from my last season. That was against, if I'm not mistaken, that was probably against City. But either or, that was a beautiful cross. Only for Marcus Rashford to go wide. Listen, I, you're, we're gonna see results like this throughout the season. I, I get that, but it's not Ten Hag's fault. He's not out there in the pitch. That's the player's fault. You can't finish. Like, do you guys, like, I heard someone say on a podcast, and it's true, like, do you, like, how often do you guys work on your finishing and training? If you work on a lot, well, then you better start staying after, you better start staying after, do double time to work on your finishing. Lack of finishing has cost us, or almost cost us. The Ammonia game took 34 shots at the end of the game for a goal from, from Scott McTominay to win us the game, one nothing. Newcastle, well, uh, I don't know, let's see, this is what separates people from winning titles to just sell it for top fours, lack of cutting, lack of finishing, you gotta go for it man, what are, well, these are chances you may never get again in the game, you gotta finish those chances, so, who knows, January's, I mean, you know, we got a few more games to the World Cup. World Cup is actually in 34 days, I think. 34 days. So, who knows. But we didn't lose. We also didn't win, but we didn't lose. Clean sheet for the defense. Clean sheet for David De Gea. Let's roll on to Tottenham. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And I'll see you next time. Glory, glory, Man United.